Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going over the Abyss of Legends team. Like, when Abyss comes out, I'm going to probably push for completion on the first day. Unless I get a roadblock and then I just give up, which with the Abyss is probably going to happen. So, the discussion is like, what's the best team to bring right now? And I got some characters in the Lions Quest and Arena. The team, so, it that we found out like you can only get like... 240 hits before the second and range timer hits and then you um go what do they go they go fully unblockable and unstoppable so you just die basically and it's like why why is that even like a thing like if they removed that it would be fair but 240 hits this just seems really dumb so what is my team gonna look like so there's a few options of what i can do i'm thinking Aegon probably gonna be good because he's good for most stuff only problem is Combo won't go over probably unless I win the fight. Is that how it works? It might not be, but I don't know. Aegon, I think, will always be a good character for big content. Um, 240 hits. So, characters like Blade, he's not gonna get touched probably. There's a massive robot, maybe Medusa, but it's gonna be a really bad decision, a really good decision. I'm thinking the play, so you have the most damage within 240 hits is bring Ghost with full synergy. Because I'm thinking, because Ghost can deal with most fights. I mean, I don't know if she can deal with the Labyrinth fights, but if I only do one hit combos, and then only launch special twos, in 240 hits, I can get like over 1.5 to maybe 2 million damage. And I don't know, I just... I don't know if it's worth bringing in the synergy, but maybe not hood synergy, I'd say. Maybe, because, you know, she's gonna die either way. And maybe I'll just health potion her up. But Wasp will probably be there because the crit on the special two are too nice. And I'm thinking, Symbiote Scream could be good if there's like a massive cosmic fight, but I don't think he's gonna be too good. I think Captain America Infinity War, is he's pretty insane for almost all fights. Like, he's just so good. He, he does so many crazy fights for me. That I would need him for. Um, Sunspot probably won't get used at all, honestly. Corvus definitely won't get used. Archangel, I might rank 5 him if there's a fight I need him for. Um, he scored on a little bit more. I'm thinking maybe ranking 5 my sheet. I'm going to rank 5 either way. But I'm thinking, would she be good for this? Like, in 240 hits, you could probably get a good amount of Furies before you end up dying, which could probably do a massive chunk of damage, I'd say. And if I keep scrolling down, the other option I'm thinking of is Domino, Full Trinity. I think Domino, the other two, Massacre, and Red Hulk. And you just parry heavy, because the heavy attack's only two hits. And it does a massive amount of damage. And you can get in 120 heavy attacks before you pretty much die. And I don't know. I mean, like, 120 heavy attacks with a rank 5 domino. That might be able to kill the opponents before the 240 hits. Because she's beast. And I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking... If there's no nodes that like really screw her over, she might be really good. And if you scroll down some more, a five star. I have Quake, which I'm trying to rank up right now, but I think there's a node that's like, if you don't hit every certain amount of seconds, something happens. I can't remember which might screw her over, but if not, might use her. Let me just look up five stars and six stars only. So out of my roster, man thing, MVP. No, I'm just kidding. Um, scroll down. I do have Hyperion, who I want to rank 5. I just right now, like, the gold struggle is just not good. Like, I don't have enough gold. I don't want to rank 5 Quake before him, because I think Quake's better. Um, not for all scenarios, but oh, Quake's pretty much a beast. So, my going blind team probably is going to look something like Aegon, Ghost, Wasp. Captain America, Hood, maybe for the other synergy, or She-Hulk, I'm thinking, at rank 5. 
There's any massive unstoppables. I think. I don't know. Dep just for the first time going in blind, I think they can deal with a lot. At least th four, three characters, depending on whether they're bringing her or not. So I don't know. You guys tell me what do you think the most ideal team is to bring for the initial run going in blind. You don't know any of the fights. I'm thinking Aegon, if I ramp him up, can be like Diva, Diva from Moon. Ghost can be Diva from Moon also. She all can be unstoppable immune and get a crazy amount of damage with poison immunity. Captain America has all that utility and the block. Um, he has the good block penetration, so like um. He has good um, block proficiency, that's the word. So I won't be able to take like 2 million damage to the block because these opponents are going to have massive health pools. I don't know. I don't have the god tier roster that, um, what is called, like Seton and all the other YouTubers have. But I have a pretty good roster and with enough units, I mean, I feel like these 3, 4 characters could probably carry a lot of weight. I just think they need to remove the 240 hit thing. That just seems really silly. Like, that needs to go. That needs to actually just go. Make it, like, 500 or, like, a, or no, 1,000. But, like, 240 is just such a cash grab move. So, yeah, tell me you guys think. Tell me you guys think the best team to bring in is blind because I really don't know. Um, this is it's coming out in four days, and I'm going to go for a completion when it comes out, but chances are I'm going to give up really quickly and just... Re and wait till maps come out so I can see and wait to see the best counters and stuff. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.